Just say the magic word. Eat, uno mas. Coming right up. I've got this amazing lemon and garlic steak recipe, but there's a trick to it to get it exactly right. Before I'm going to talk about what this trick is and what we're going to do, I first want to tell you about our new YouTube channel. We started the second channel and the link is down below. First link, just hit it. Make sure you subscribe because I want as many as you guys in there as possible. I'm making the video for you guys. It's like behind the scenes. You keep on asking what's happening with the dog? What do you feed it? What's going on with the barn? How's the build going? All kinds of things. And now we build a channel just for that purpose. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Make sure you go over there after this video is done, subscribe and like every video to help us boost up into the stratosphere. Because Morrison, we're going to the moon. Oh yeah. That's right. Now let's get on with this video. Look at this beautiful skirt steak. It's A5 BMS 12 Wagyu. Man, this thing is so fat. But what I want you to understand here and what the real trick about this cut of meat is, if we cook it like it is with just a little bit of salt and pepper, it's gonna be amazing. But at the same time, you're gonna be filled up with a lot of meat and volume and you feel satisfied instantly after one or two bites. So you have to think about what am I cooking and how do I get it perfect? And that's where the marinade comes in. We can make a marinade that is oil-based or we can make a marinade that is vinegar-based. When you have a fat piece of meat, always go for the vinegar-based marinade because the vinegar or the acidity that's in that marinade is just going to break down the fat balance out the meal and make you feel, I don't know, more happy inside and more light and you can digest more meat. Am I just selling meat here? Oh yeah. We could just like with two bites and you're satisfied and that would be the whole experience. But now we're just telling them to eat more. Well, let me just show you the recipe for our marinade. I'm going to start my marinade by slicing fine four chili peppers. Depending on how much heat you like, you can use a little less or a little more. I'm also slicing fine two garlic cloves. Then I'm taking the juice out of two lemons and I add them to the chili pepper and garlic. I'm grinding some black pepper fine until I have around half a tablespoon. I'm also going to add a half a tablespoon of table salt. I'm going to mix this all up and make sure that the salt dissolves. Before we're going to marinate this steak, I first want you to think about it. Would you rather have this whole steak marinated or would you like the flavors to be enhanced and cut it in smaller pieces? Aha, that's why I'm gonna cut this steak up into smaller pieces. And I'm talking about finger thick strips. Now we're creating more surface and more surface means more flavor. This little piece more, so we can just grill on the side, just keep it for us. I'll lay it here. Now look at this steak. All of that beautiful meat is exposed. We got a little bit of fat on top and fat on the bottom. It looks so good. We're going to put it in a bowl and then I'm going to add our freshly created marinade. Vinegar based and make sure we get it everywhere. It's basically bathing a baby kitten or something. No, we're not. It's babies. It's not why do I keep saying babies and puppies? It's like bathing, you gotta be gentle. That's what I wanna say. You gotta be gentle and you want, want to be the guy that like massages it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna set this in the fridge and we'll check back on it in around two to four hours. I'm thinking more four hours. That will be perfect. In the meantime, we're going to make something that is going to make our steak even better. And for that, we're going to need butter. This is 125 grams and I'm putting some lemon zest on it. Exactly the lemon zest of one lemon. One clove of garlic pressed fine, some fresh ground black pepper and some fleur de sel. And I'm very specific about this salt. Make sure that you use a nice finishing salt 
because it's going to make all the difference in the end. If you're like me and you didn't have the patience to let the butter come up to room temperature, it's going to be a lot of hard work. So do yourself a favor and wait until the butter is up to room temperature. It's been five hours and now our steak looks like this. Whoa. You know, life happened so it was an hour longer. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that the acidity did its work and it drew into the steak. And with the acidity going into the steak, we also have flavor going into the steak. What you do next is most important. If you do this next step properly, you're gonna have a beautiful steak. If you don't do it properly, you're gonna get mediocre results. So pay attention. This is very important. And like with all important steps, mostly they are super easy because we need to pat our steaks dry, super dry, because all of that fluid that's on your steak is going to prevent it from crusting up. You need a dry outside on your steak to get a good crust. Get it as dry as you can. I have it in paper towel, you can air dry it, you can do whatever you like, just make sure the outside is dry. If you want to, you can take all of these chilies and these seeds off, but to me, that's goodness. I'm gonna leave it on. Now that we got them all petted dry, they're ready for the grill. There's just one final thing that I wanna do. You know what it is, Martian? No. Fire up the grill. <laughs> Let's go. these beauties <laughs> they look absolutely fantastic they turn into like little I don't know it's not like the skirt steak anymore but it looks like something really exclusive because we, we kind of like in the Netherlands we call this diamonds diamond hair but basically it's like a small loin that's what they look like something exclusive something much more than it was before and by doing so we made something that's already fantastic into something that's freaking awesome. Let's just bite into this. This looks maybe too good. Are there Rocky Mountain oysters in it? Is there a, like... Why do you have everything that is really awesome? Why do you try and make it dirty? You created that. You created the fear. Because every time the food looks so delicious, there could be, there could be a Rocky Mountain oyster in it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a salty guy. I, I like a little bit of extra salt. This is finishing salt. For the people that don't know, finishing salt is a really light salt that you put on your steak afterwards. Makes it taste fantastic, gives it a little bit of structure. Give it a try before you judge. There we go. Mm. Whoa, this is like a steak on acid. This is crazy. Get, get into it. You're sitting on the beach, on Y, with your feet are touching the warm water. On the one hand, you have a beer. It's hot. You can't believe how hot it actually is. On the other hand, you're holding this. You take a bite, and the acidity it just quenches your thirst, but it feeds you at the same time. And then you got the, the garlic butter with the lemon inside, the lemon zest. The acidity is so high, you're not gonna know what you're hitting, but what's hitting you. Life's so good. That's what this feels like. That's that's what you have to imagine. How good this is. <laughs> I had a lot of steaks in my life, 
since I'm working here. But this, this is something completely new. So yeah, I want to sit here, I want to talk about it. But it's hard to talk about it when you don't have anything to eat. Just say the magic word. Eat? Una Food. mas. Una mas? Coming right up. Right. See? We feed the dog. It's official. It's on record. We have to always feed the dog on camera, otherwise we get complaints. Yeah. We get thumbs down. You know who should make this? Sam the cooking guy. Sam the cooking guy. He should make this. Mm -hmm. Sam, if you're watching this, please join this group of, of lemon enthusiasts. If Sam is watching this, all his restaurants are locked down. Yeah. He's got nothing better to do. No. He's just watching YouTube all the time. Don't be a fruitcake. Make this. The recipe is in the website. Hi. He just stepped out of the airplane. He landed the jet and he came in. Oh. Hi, Hi, Sam. You want a piece of steak? You want to try it? Yeah. Good. This is Sam, Sam the cooking guy. Mm. Lekker? Yes. See, Sam the cooking guy approves. Are you going to make it next time? Yes. See, no problem. I tell Sam the cooking guy to cook something. It's done. And, and it's, it's done. Deal. It's a deal. Thank you, Sam. See you next time. Do do it. Why are you stealing the letters? That's not normal for children. No, that's not normal. There's something wrong with Sam. We gotta close off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. A special thank you to our patrons and our YouTube members. See you guys next time. Until then, hey, smuggler, and keep on grilling. That's a cool. Whoa, I was on a roll. Yeah, that's a good one. I was song. on a roll. That's a good one.